It was a day heavy with expectation and an anxiety about the words to come after years of waiting. That comes from a place of um, insecurity, not knowing um, what I'm about to hear. Um, not any apology will do. Um, an apology is so much more than just saying that you're sorry. After months of shocking evidence in a commission of inquiry about abuse and failures in Tasmania's schools, hospitals, youth detention and state care, a formal acknowledgement. We failed you. We are all accountable. And we are sorry. The Premier delivered his apology to survivors who have been silenced, those who haven't been believed, and those who choose or feel unable to speak out. It recognised the whistleblowers who've been ignored, the victims who are no longer here, and their families. We are so sorry. Sorry for the actions we and successive governments did not take that might have led to your safety. And we are sorry for the actions that have had the effect of protecting abusers and shielding institutions from accountability. We are deeply sorry. Sorry for your pain. Sorry for your suffering. Sorry for the appalling treatment you endured after already experiencing one of the worst things a child can experience. I am truly sorry for any and every part we have played in failing you and those who love you. To me, it felt like a defining moment, like it felt like a, a commitment from the top of government to, to say, well, we acknowledge our past, tomorrow's a new day, we've got to start fixing things. It still relies on action. We can't, we can't take this as enough. Today was just one step in a long process for Tasmania and its institutions. The state's Commission of Inquiry is due to hand down its final report by May. Some of those survivors who've been agitating for change chose not to attend. Today I felt was merely a reiteration of their commitment to change and their commitment to implement the recommendations, which is wonderful and we need that commitment, but we actually need to see the action. We need to see the steps being taken. We know that we must do better to protect all children in Tasmania from abuse and that our actions must give meaning to this apology. Ellen Coulter, ABC News.